Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, it is TGIF fifth segment of the week. And I'm still, you know, when I do fifth segment of the week, I get a little fancy and I take it up to a little level, y'all, just to kind of educate y'all. I want y'all to expand y'all horizons and be better cooks, better chefs, better husbands, better wives, better people, better everything. And it all starts with food. Good food starts conversations. Good food brings neighbors. Good food brings camaraderie. Good food brings love. I'm a living witness today. So look, today we're going east of the border of Texas to the state of Louisiana. I have been trained and and uh, really, really taught by a lot of people from Louisiana how to cook certain things. I try to stay away from it because Louisiana people don't play. They get mad and they'll, they'll slap you if you mess their food up. Just like us with our fried chicken and our sweet potato fry, sweet potato pie here in the state of Texas and our barbecue, they like that with their gumbos and creoles and etouffees and, and uh, jambalaya and stuff like that. But today, I'm going to make some crawfish etouffee to go over top of some sauteed flounder. I can blacken it, but I'm going to just saute it really quick and uh, throw some uh, jambalaya or jambalaya Cook etouffee over it and I'm going to make some big old pot of white rice. And we're going to eat good today, y'all. TGI fish segment of the week. Just getting started. I'm going to step off here, dice up my trinity, which is the bell peppers, onions, and celery. And the hardest part and the longest part, and making sure you got that root right, y'all. Look, that's the key. I'm going to tell you as you go along, that's the key of making it, making it, it, it to fray is the root. So anyway, y'all, let me get stuff prepped up, chopped up, and we'll be right back. Old school soul food, TGI fish segment of the week. Just getting started. Be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. I got everything prepped up here, y'all. Good to go. Crawfish tails, my flounder. I'm going to move this to the side, y'all. I'm going to just move this right over here to the side. Show you what I got here. I got my trinity here. I got my celery, onions, and green bell pepper. You can use red or whatever. And guess what I got right here? Look at that. Look like parsley, huh? This is something I learned from my old Cajun chef oh, back in the mid-2000s. I say, what are you going to make? We was cooking something. I think uh, 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 jambalaya. I said, we're going to put parts in. He said, boy, so boy, you, you boys in Texas, he told me. He said, you boys in Texas, y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all throw away too much stuff. He took the ends off the celery, you know, that flowery stuff. He said, let me show you here, boy, what we do. <laughs> oh, Cajun chef. He said, you take this stuff up in here, you chop this up here, and we're going to put that right at the end. We don't throw away nothing up in Louisiana. He said, you, you Texas people... Y'all waste too much food. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I, I remember that to this day. When I make jambalaya, it's too fair, whatever. I keep the ends off the celery and add that at the end, which it tastes good. A lot of people use that. But he just, he he hooked me into shape. I'm telling you, this guy was, uh, I think he was like, he's a black guy. He was way, way back in the uh, small town of Louisiana. Old guy, I think he was about 72, 73 years old. And I worked with him for about a week, maybe 10 days. And uh, he taught me all kinds of stuff and everything from cooking alligator to uh, to, um, to frog legs to everything. This guy was amazing. But the stories he could tell and the wisdom he had was having an impact on me till today. But anyway, that's a story for another time. But anyway, like I said, I got the Trinity here. I got some tomato paste, a little diced tomato, some garlic. They supposed to use shrimp stock. I don't have shrimp stock. I got the best, best thing. I got some shrimp base. I'm going to add to it when I add my water to that. And I got my butter, which is root. We're going to get going on right now. Let me move y'all over here. And we're going to get this root going. I'm going to get some white rice going here in a minute after this root. As this root is cooking, I'm going to get some white rice going. So, yeah. My roux, all of this roux is, we're going to make a brown roux. We're gonna, not going to make a blonde roux like I do. It's going to start out as a blonde roux. And you know what roux is, all roux is is 50% 50, 50 flour, 50% 50 uh, 50 butter, or oil. Sometimes I use oil. You're going to go 50-50. What I want to do is melt this butter up. So I got a half a cup of uh, butter in here. I'm sorry, a fourth of a cup. A fourth of a cup of butter. Fourth of a pound, half a cup of butter. Let me slow down here. Because y'all will mess up, I'm messing myself up. And old Mr. Tippado there, he's going to be mad at me if he see this video. 
Uh, God rest his soul. I don't know if he's still alive. That was in 2000. He'd be in his 90s right now. Oh, Mr. 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 Leroy Chippendale. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm going to get this melted here. This is a half a cup of butter. I'm going to add a half a cup of flour to this. 50% flour, 50% butter. I'm going to get this all melted up. Now, this is what you really got to do, y'all. You really have to watch this. You really have to watch this because this root burn on you, throw it out, and start over. This is where I would, if I'm making a normal root at home, this is where I would stop right here. Put it in my refrigerator, I'm good to go. But I'm going to go to the next level. We're going to get a brown color. I don't want a dark, dark color like I'm making a gumbo. I don't want it that dark. You can go dark, dark, dark. I want a brown, nice, caramel color Pretty much before you get to the caramel color roof. So I'm gonna continue to stir this. It's gonna take about, with me, about 10, 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm gonna step off. While I'm stepping off here, I'm gonna get my white rice going there in the back. And then we're gonna continue this uh, roof thing. Like I say, this is the very most important part of your etouffee right here, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Got the roof going along. Like I said, y'all, you got to constantly stir this. I got my rice, rice heating up back there, starting to cook. By the time that rice gets ready, this is all this stuff will be ready. This takes the longest, the root. Once you get this root done, I'm going to add all the, everything else in there. And the, and the flounder fillets, saute, ain't going to take long at all, y'all. It's going to be simple because they're so thin. You see how thin they are? Yeah, so they ain't going to take long at all. But like I say, y'all, I want a nice color on this roof. It's got a few minutes to go here, but like I say, constantly staring. Don't walk off, go and watch uh, all my children, uh, One Life to Live, with them things are still on, and then come back and thinking you're going to have a nice roof. Don't work like that. Yeah. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to continuously do this, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look at this. Look how pretty this is. This is pretty much what I want, y'all. See that? This is what I want right here. This take about 10 to 12 minutes of constantly stirring. Another thing, y'all, make sure you have a strong bottom pot when you do this. Don't get no 99 cents dollar store pots. You're going to ruin your food. Like I tell people, take time to invest in a good pot, good equipment. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to throw my Trinity in here. Get my onions here, now we're gonna switch up here. Let me get my wooden spoon here. Now we're supposed to get serious right here. My trinity in there, celery. I'm just gonna cool this down too, y'all. As you know, put the vegetables in here, it's gonna cool all this down. Now I put my bell peppers in here. Put all my trinity in here, y'all, cooking. Get all in there good mixed together there. Look at this. Good cooking. We cooking now. I wish y'all could smell this. You know you're doing something when you can smell this good, this good root going here, y'all. Let me go here. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna throw my garlic in here now. I can put my garlic in there now. Get it going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, now, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my water in here, which should be, if you got a uh, shrimp paste, I mean shrimp uh, stock, if you don't have shrimp stock, you definitely can use, uh, you definitely can use uh, chicken stock, y'all. Get that in there, a little bit more. Oh yeah. Get that all mixed up in there. Now this is where I'm very careful how much stock I use, how much uh, liquid I use in here. Because uh, I don't want it to get too thick. And uh, I have to add more roux. That's the, peak, the purpose of the roux, y'all. So I'm going to I'm gonna have the exact measurements for y'all at the end of the video. Y'all ready? Y'all y'all here with me, huh? Ain't nobody went to sleep, huh? 
Yeah, my, I just called my friend when I was off and asked him what town that was. Hammond, Louisiana. Right outside of Hammond, Louisiana. Small town. Really small town, Louisiana. Mr. Thibodeau lived. I think it was like a two-bedroom two house. Looked like it had been there since the 1800s. But that man could cook, I'm telling you. Okay. All right, now. I'm going to add my... Uh, let me add my shrimp stock to this. Shrimp stock. Shrimp base to this. Still got it on. In fact, I'm gonna turn this down just slightly. Turn this down just slightly. Like I say, y'all, I use some shrimp paste. That's gonna supplement me putting tasteless water in here. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Now this is gonna have to cook down by 20 minutes after I finish adding everything in here. Cause I ain't through yet adding everything, y'all. Now, if you had green onions, you could put green onions in here, too, at this time. But I don't have green onions. I'm trying to make sure all that shrimp is, uh, that shrimp uh, base in there. Oh, this smells amazing. Okay. Now, we get that out the way. Now, we're going to open up our tomato products. Y'all with me now. I'm trying not to go too fast because this is, uh, like I say, this is something you don't want to mess up. Especially you got some Cajun friends. They'll talk about you. Talk about you bad. People from Louisiana, I'm telling you. Okay, if you don't let you mess up their food. Okay. I'm gonna add a little tomato paste to this. Just a little, not much. I want it red, but I want it having that little tang to it. That little gloss to it. It's gonna change the color just slightly. Mix it up in there. Remember, I got the fire down low get in that tomato paste it's gonna be this gonna be thickener too y'all you how it changes the color just slightly not a lot just slightly and you know uh etouffee all that means is smothered in french term all that means is smothered when you see etouffee it's either over rice or fish or something like that and me, I'm putting it over rice and fish today, y'all. So we going both ways on it. Okay. Now we're going to put our diced tomatoes in here. Put our tomatoes in here. I'm using can, of course. You don't have to put tomatoes if you don't want to. He put tomatoes in his. And guess what? I'm putting tomatoes in mine. So we're going to tighten it. We're going to move this around. Look at that. Tell me that ain't looking good, y'all. Tell me that ain't looking good. Okay, now what I need this to do, I need to step off here and let this cook down about 15, 20 minutes. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna check our seasoning for salt and pepper. And then we're gonna go to the next level when we put add our crawfish in here. So I need this to cook down and thicken a little bit more. And when we come back, we're gonna add our crawfish for that. Old school. Etouffee, crawfish etouffee, y'all, coming from the border of Louisiana. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. Okay, let's open the lid on here, y'all. See this? See what's done? It's thickened up as it's simmering. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I got some rice back here on the back. I'm about to cut it off. Let me show y'all. See the rice back there? I got some rice. See my rice back here? Just got through cooking. I'm gonna just take the lid off, cut it off, and leave the lid on it. Got my rice for this. I got, let's get back to the main dish of the hour. Okay, I turned this down, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, y'all. And this is what you have right here. Now, it still ain't through with it. I do, I gotta do a couple more things to it. I gotta add my, and you can use any kind of Cajun season you want. If you know the best Cajun season I love, is my old school shake here. Put a little of that in there. And, then we're gonna taste this here and see just how much salt and pepper I'm gonna need. So I put my little shake in there. You can put, like I say, you can put cayenne pepper in there if you want. I don't eat cayenne pepper, it's too hot for me. Okay, put a little salt and pepper. I know it needs some kind of salt and pepper. I'm gonna go easy first because I ain't seasoned it at all, remember? So this is still on a low simmer, remember that. In some cages, they eat it just like this. Shoot, boy, I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing in that boy. Just give me that and some rice. You don't, they don't need no fish, no nothing in it. They eat it just like this. Okay, 
Let me taste this here. Just a little bit more salt and pepper. We good with that, y'all. It tastes absolutely amazing. That shrimp base, shrimp stock is coming through flavorfully. Okay, now, at this point, you can add whatever you want to it. But, it's crawfish at Too Faith. We're going to add some Louisiana crawfish to this, y'all. And as all Louisiana say, make sure you use as possible the crawfish that come out the bag, if possible. And that's what I'm going to use. And make sure it comes from Louisiana. I'm going to pour this in a bowl here and show y'all what it is before I put it in the put it in my pot. This is nice, pretty Louisiana crawfish. Let's pull that right in there, y'all. Put that right up in there. Look at that. Tell me that don't look good. A big bowl of rice, y'all. That's all it takes right there. Now, I'm going to let this simmer about five or six minutes. Then I'm going to set it on the side. Then we're going to start working on our fish, which ain't going to take long at all. Look at that pretty crawfish. And you can put shrimp in here, y'all. See that? You can put chicken in there. I know some people from Louisiana put chicken in there. Yep. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to let set this simmer five minutes. I'm going to come back and we're going to start on our flounder. Get this sauteed off. Because most of this meal is ready. Look at that. See that? That's what you want, y'all. That's your etouffee right there. See how easy and simple that is? Just take a few simple steps, y'all. And you can make etouffee at home. So simple. You see how simple I did it. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. we we'll start working on this fish. Be right back. Okay, y'all. We almost through here, y'all. I know y'all probably getting bored of me. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to show y'all a few things here. Okay. We're gonna put our cavernous seasoning on here. Cavernous grit seasoning. A little salt and pepper. Make sure you season your fish. This is flounder, y'all. If everybody wondering what it is, just a little piece of thin piece of flounder I got here. Season it really good with the salt and pepper. Cavernous here. That's all I'm going to do. All I'm going to do, I'm going to dust it in flour. And we're going to saute it right here in the skillet, y'all. That's it. Get a nice color on it, nice crispiness to it. Because you know we got that topping of the crawfish etouffee going to go on it. So, I don't want to put too much breading on there to defeat the purpose of the nice, uh, nice etouffee we got. So all I'm going to do, like I say... Just kind of dust it with flour. That's all we're going to do. Put it in the pan. I like to do the belly side down first. That's just my preference. Do what you want to do. Do how you want to do it. All right. One more here, y'all. It's good eating here, y'all. For your Friday. And April Fools, y'all probably saw the April Fools joke when you saw a Cajun thing on the title, did you? Happy April Fools, y'all. Okay, let's move it over here. All right. Y'all close up here what I'm doing here. All righty. All right. Oh, like I said, all I want to do, y'all, is get a nice, pretty color on that. And uh, we'll take this off of here. Nothing fancy. Flounder, of course, ain't gonna take long. Two or three minutes it's on each side. And then we'll take it off, put it on our sheet pan with a rack. And then I'm gonna plate this thing up. We're gonna have some, some good old school Cajun eating, y'all. So we'll be right back, one minute. Okay, y'all, we are back here. Okay, I just turned the flounder over here a couple of minutes ago, and this is what you want, y'all. The flounder is pretty much perfectly cooked. It don't take long on fish anyway. Especially fish, white fish is this thin. It don't take long at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cut this off. I'm gonna get my plate ready. And we're gonna come back, y'all. And uh, we're gonna uh, pretty much plate this thing up. And I'm hungry. Queen is hungry. We ready to eat here, y'all. 
So anyway, y'all, like I say, this is a, let me see on the other side. I have to flip it again. Let me see here. Not really. You don't have to flip it again, but get a little bit more color on that side there. But this fish is pretty much finished. Oh yeah, pretty much finished, y'all. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back here and we're gonna plate this up. It's nothing better than crawfish and toothpaste on rice and fish. Shoot, that's restaurant quality here, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, I forgot the camera wasn't running here. Getting so excited here. Okay, I got my fish on the plate and the rice on the plate. Y'all see that? Now, what I'm gonna do here now, back y'all up a little bit. There we go. Back y'all up here a little bit now. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my pot of, uh, take my pot of etouffee, put it over here on, the, on my cutting board where y'all can see what I'm doing here. A big old pot of etouffee, and what I like to do, y'all, put a little right down the fish, just like that, and a little right there on that rice. Look at that. See that? A little bit more. A little bit more on that, on that fish, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Now, look at that. Kevin ain't restaurant quality right there, y'all. Let me go down, because I got two. Look at that. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to... Step off here, do that world famous YouTube thumbnail, and we're gonna come back. We're gonna have us a good old meal here, a crawfish etouffee and grilled and sauteed flounder. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. I forgot to put my, Mr. Thibodeau will be mad at me. I, I put a little of my celery toppings on there, y'all, my off camera, and look at this. Like I showed y'all before I left. Look at that. Would you eat that? It's restaurant quality. Now, you know I got to get some Louisiana hot sauce for my Louisiana cooking. Uh, this one I add, my heat. Now, like I say, y'all, you can add your heat in there in the pot, but some people don't like it spicy. So I kind of started years ago kind of hindering away from that because I don't want to ruin anybody's eating experience with heat. And they can have to always add the heat later. That's something I always do now. So anyway, y'all, let's try this out. Let's try this out, y'all. That flounder is so tender. Get a little of that rice on there. Let me show y'all the first bite. Look at that. Rice dripping on my floor. Mm. I'll tell y'all. Mmm. Mm, mm. mm. Good eating here, y'all. Look at that. Mm, you can y'all can show that. Look at that. Yeah. The rice on there. I'm telling y'all, look at that. That's good eating there, y'all. Mmm, 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 mmm. That'll cure what ails you right there. Mmm. This will cure whatever ails you. <laughs> I can look down, people. One more bite. The flounder's perfectly cooked. See how that flounder's just perfectly just flaking off there. Rice perfectly cooked, of course. You know my rice method, two to one. Two parts water, two parts liquid, one part rice. Let it boil till the water goes away. Cover it up. You got nice fluffy rice. That's good eating. That's good eating right there, y'all. But anyway, y'all, let me close the video out. People have been asking me to do Cajun cooking, and I say, why not? I'll put it on April Fool's Day. You'll think it's an April Fool joke, but it's not. Yeah, I can cook all kinds of occasion stuff. I just sway away from it a lot of the time because it ain't something I do all the time. But anyway, y'all, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow all the social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Have a happy Blessed Friday. Don't do too much April Food jokes on, your, on yourself. And don't fall for nothing today, y'all. Remember that. Remember it's April Food. You don't know what's true or bad, true or false. Anyway, love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye.